Real quick, uh, I gotta show my lifting partner. And I'm sure oh. what, what are you listening to in there? Industrial strength show, baby, every day. Yeah! You got the memo, son? Nice shirt. Twins. Get that back at us, son. Were you here on time? Uh, yeah, you weren't. As usual, I add 15 minutes on everything that you say. I thought I made it today. Dr. Lax is already here. Uh, no, 12 11. What's up, bro? How you doing, man? Good to see you. Great to see you. How you doing? Good, how you doing? Good, I'm fired up to be here. Found the corner, 111 miles an hour. A new leader. Rabel with the ball hissing into the goal at 111. Grab those, but keep your toes in contact. Breathe and think like, pull your ribs down and almost let like your pelvis drop while you bring your ribs down. And then just try to hold that position while you're breathing and relaxing. Hold that for a minute. Stand about an arm's length from the wall and then put your forearm on the wall with your feet together, lean, and then take your inside foot, cross it over this foot, and then try to relax, let your hips drive towards the wall and laterally kind of flex your upper body in the opposite position. So come here. And you might, you have to kind of, I can never, I don't get it right away. And then relax a little bit more. And then when you let them go, you should feel like a huge lateral stretch in the QL. Yeah, then you got it right. Now just try to breathe through that. But when you, you know when you get it. Usually it takes a couple of seconds and then you hit the spot and it's like a, Rarely does that muscle get stretched properly, so it should feel almost like it's about to tear. Uh, it shouldn't though, don't worry. R relieves a good amount of low back pain. How's your back feel when you come out of that? Feels good. Feels good. The other one I wanted to see how you felt was a uh, internal rotation stretch. If you Sit down with your feet on the ground and then cross one leg over like if you were going to do a figure four stretch. But then let this foot pull the knee down and drop it down. Try to keep your weight a little bit more kind of yep. even. Don't just let your whole body go. Almost like if you're even turning in the opposite direction. Just drop down here and hang out for 30 seconds. You feel a big stretch though in your hip? Yep. Feel like good like... Kind of internal. Deep, yes, that's, that's exactly it. That's exactly it. You know what an RKC plank is where you're just kind of increasing the tension, yeah. basically squeeze yeah. your glutes and then think like you're pulling your forearms yeah. to your toes. Just create a decent amount of tension for five seconds. And then for five seconds, when I say relax, just hold what normal people would call a regular plank. Yeah. And then you can go five seconds again. Relax, and then we're gonna do it one more time. So just three sets of five seconds on, five seconds off. Ready? Yeah. And go five seconds, squeeze. Glutes tight, pull the elbows to the toes. Everything's tight, tight, tight. Now relax. Regular plank. And again, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Relax, good. And last one, go. Five, four, three, Two, one, good. And now you're gonna go on your side. And just hold this, just do a 20 second hold here. So 
hold everything. Think like you're trying to you try to bring this hip up even a little bit more. Yeah, right there. The gorgeous ball. Have you seen this okay. thing? This this will help you out a lot. Find your hip bone and then go right kind of in that pocket. If you, if you were going to cut your upper body into fourths, put it in the mm -hmm. kind of lower quadrant there, and then let it start. If you look at my if you look at the ball, like naturally you're always gonna have a little bit of tension. Like right now I'm kind of like contracting a little bit. Start by contracting your abs for a couple seconds and then to really get yourself to release, contract and then just take a breath in and then blow it out and then watch the ball kind of sink into my abs. Mm -hmm. And let that just sink as much as you can. And then what I like to do is the side that you're on, if I'm on the right side, take your right leg and jack it underneath your left leg. It puts the this hip just a little bit in extension so that hip flexor will be stretched slightly. And then with the pressure on it, then you just put your, your head down, breathe a couple times, and then to increase that even, you could reach, you could reach your arm out with this leg up. So yeah. this is a, a big help if you have if you have low back pain. It's uh, I've been doing it every night before I go to bed, and it really helps to get rid of some low back pain. It help you sleep a little bit better too. Yeah, and then just let that thing sink in best you can. Even stretch your right arm out and. Just breathe. This one, I don't know how you normally do it, but just kind of sitting here and finding, yeah, rolling in. Whenever you find the most tender spot, like for me, it's right there. It puts me through the roof. I just hang out. You could even, I mean, you could add a little pressure with the other leg and then just roll back and forth over it a couple times. Yeah. Spend a minute or two there. Like, I don't claim to be the smartest guy in the world. I just try shit and like, if it feels better, I do it. Yeah, you, you're about the same spot yep. as me. Brutal. Get in that position on one side, and then on the other side, put your foot down, but point your toe out, and then almost block that with your arm, and you put the other hand on the ground, and then just shift your body weight this way. You should feel a little bit in both groins, like different yep. fibers, Definitely. really up high in here, and a little bit different on this one. Here, I'll give you one of your lacrosse balls, of course. Put the lacrosse ball right on your hip bone, where we feel the bone. Yeah. Then drop it to the inside of that. Yeah. And maybe slightly up. That's yeah, kind yeah, of the like pocket really right there. Yeah. We're going to put that. Don't just go straight down. Try your best to relax as best you can. You're going to naturally want to tense up. Bend this leg. Bring this leg all the way up so it relaxes a little bit. Now, push this down and in. Pull it towards your ribs. Add pressure and hold it. Think in your mind, think like you're pinning that muscle down. Hold it down there. And now straighten your leg out. Straighten this right leg out. Straighten, slow, slow, slow. And now even bring it a little towards the midline. Take a big breath, exhale, add that pressure in, and then bring it back, and slowly bring it up, same thing, if you can, even add a little bit more pressure, you might want to even like have it sit a little different on the ball, yeah, you get like a little different fiber, now pin it, slowly straighten the leg out, straighten, 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 keep coming, now we're going to bring it in. Point the toe in a little bit. Take a big breath in. Exhale. Good, and then one more. 
bend the knee slow. If you want to adjust the ball a little bit, like different fiber go a little higher if you feel like you're on a good spot. Like I said, I'm going to give you a printed out version of everything kind of in order. Sitting here with my man, Paul Rabel. We just got done with a little uh, workout slash, I'd say like a lower back rehab feel good session. Uh, yep. So how, how are you feeling, by the way, after feeling that? feeling great right now. That's yeah. good. When I saw you with the same notebook, I kind of yeah. was like, oh, that's cool. All right. I, well, got, uh, I got some company over here. There's three um, things that I've learned about learning that, that really helps. Um, and, and the first is that we have to either read or listen to some type of content, right? So, so some, that's the, like step one. Yeah. So you just don't like in, imagine things. I, mean, I suppose the inventors did, but most of that shit's taken up. <laughs> so I'm either reading this Game Changer book right here or you're telling me about it. That's step one. Step two for me is then writing it down. Because this process of then taking what I heard and what I read to paper is helpful. And then step three, and this is where I think most people miss, is then teaching it to someone else. Yes. If the tunnel, if you get out of the tunnel on 34th Street, and I got to get to 50th, but they do not allow you to make any left turns, and 50th is left. How do you get there? We should have hired a professional. Where's what's his name? Last time when I had I had the meeting with the um, the book the uh, the book agent. By the time I got down to like first, I was so pissed, uh, sick of everybody telling me I couldn't turn left. The cop was waving me off, saying no. I just freaking floored it, turned <laughs> left, and took <laughs> off because she was she wasn't in her car. I was just like directing traffic. Show my lifting partner. And I'm sure what, what are you listening to in there? Industrial strength show, baby, every day. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> We're officially now the, the douchebag people with the camera. Yeah, but everybody in New York's a douchebag person. <laughs> people from New York are gonna take this to offense, you know that, right? They know. I had the best eyebrows, but no. I knew. The OG of eyebrows is here. Number 11, Agile 8, that's all video. I didn't know you were vlogging, bro. Yeah, I tried. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I tried. Brett, you like that, Brett? Yeah, yeah, I, I had him on my show uh, for a while ago. What's up, man? How's it going? We did one already, just us, and then uh, that's it. You, oh, nice. and then uh, found a new place to sleep. And then Do you have any other ones lined up? Any, uh, uh, any East Coast guys? No, coming? but uh, we have some, but we'll take recommendations also. Like When I was like training, training, 24-7, commercial gym, athletes, all that stuff, I still try to find time for Instagram. That's like when Instagram first started. Well, and I think it's even, it's getting even more important. Now. Yeah. Like, it, it, I used to almost make fun of it 10 years ago, and I don't even know how long Instagram has been around. Yeah, probably like, about 10 years. Yeah, like YouTube and say Facebook. Yeah. If I saw somebody posting nonstop on Facebook yeah. or they had a huge YouTube following, it was like the the kind of trainers in the know would make fun of them as of like, oh you're the online guy who can't get any real clients so you're posting yeah. on the internet all day yeah it you is know? and now it's like you need to do that though for your business because even, everybody is on yeah. social even if you are in the grind like here in Manhattan I know some trainers that train at whatever Equinox or Soul Cycle or whatever and they're on Instagram like oh I got a class tonight at six yeah like, rather than just people walking that's your, the that's door. how you're promote that's how you're promoting things I say I, when I I do consulting for younger trainers I tell them before. The, the first employee or the first you know intern you should hire, I would get before I got help for a second trainer or even like a, somebody to run the front desk, I would have an intern follow me around with a camera there and, we go. and just yep. and video shit, yep. put it up on my Instagram, announce when I'm doing a class, announce I'm going to do a free session on a Saturday, post videos. That to me is more important. What do you think? is something that is over. Like Where do you food? draw your line? Yeah, like what's a popular food, let's say, I'm making it up, not pizza, but let's say there's something like that where you think everybody loves it, but you know you just hate it, or you think it's overrated as hell. Do you got anything? Any food items? Yeah, oh, food, because I know there's, I was just gonna say, we're sitting in New York City. Yeah. The tree on Christmas is overrated. <laughs> everybody wants to come to <laughs> see the freaking tree. It's the most overrated thing in the world. New Year's Eve in New York City is so, the most oh overrated, my, why why bullshit why thing that? in the world. Any part of words you want to say with regards to crepes? Crepes suck. <laughs> That's perfect. Thin, slu thin pizza, <laughs> New York and New Jersey, Taylor Ham, Egg and Cheese for Life. Thin pizza, thick pancakes. Yes. Oh, where, can, where can people find you? Unlike Omar, you could find me. <laughs> 
on Instagram <laughs> at thefrancosgym.com. Yeah. Uh, my website's thefrancostraining.com, and our online <laughs> uh, membership community is thefrancoinsider.com. And check out the Industrial Strength Show podcast. I drop new uh, episodes every Thursday. What are you listening to in there? Industrial Strength Show, baby, every day. Yeah! yeah.